Hiya. So I've been gone for a little while for various reasons, but I'm back, and I owe you some motherfucking content. And we're gonna start by going back a couple of weeks to look at this racist motherfucker Nick Cannon. Uh, mm -hmm. When you have a person that has ha has the lack of pigment, the right. lack of melanin, right. that they know that they will be annihilated. So therefore, however they got the power, they 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 have the lack of compassion. Mm -hmm. That mel melanin comes with compassion. L melanin comes with soul. That mm -hmm. we call it. We call it soul. We soul brothers and sisters. That's the melanin that connects us. Right. So the people that don't have it have are are a little. And I'm, I'm gonna say this carefully. <laughs> are a little less Okay, look, here's the thing. Do you really care if someone's racist? I mean, I'm not asking whether you agree with them or not. I'm asking whether you really care. Because i got to say, I don't really care if someone's racist. I mean, I probably wouldn't make friends with them. I'd probably think they're a fucking dickhead. But, like, I'm not going to start picketing out the front of their house and call their boss to try and get them fired and shit like that. I mean, freedom of thought is a pretty big thing in the Western world, right? So as abhorrent as I think someone's views are, they're ultimately allowed to have them, as long as they're not hurting anyone, right? And I say that as a black man. I mean, it could be totally different if I was a white man, right? But luckily, I'm not. I'm a black man. Here's a sponsor. A new bill in Washington is trying to invade your privacy. It's called the Lawful Access to Encrypted Data Act. And if passed, it'll be the end to warrant-proof encryption, meaning Americans won't have privacy from the government, even if your data's encrypted. It's this kind of story that constantly reminds me to do everything I can to ensure my online privacy. And the very first step is getting a good VPN. Using a VPN will hide your location online, stop advertisers from creating a profile about you, and allow you to surf the web anonymously. As an added bonus, any regionally restricted content can be seen by changing your virtual location. I use Virtual Shield VPN because it's built from the ground up specifically for your privacy protection. It's fast, reliable and secure, and it's available on your PC, Mac, iOS and Android devices. I've partnered with Virtual Shield to exclusively give my audience 50% off any of their VPN plans and premium add-ons. Go to hidewithbear.com to start protecting yourself online now. Let's go to what it really is then. When we talk about the power of melanated people, when we talk mm -hmm. about who we really are as guys and, and right. understanding that. So this Nick Cannon guy is doing a podcast with Richard Griffin or Professor Griff. Wait, is it Professor Griff? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's Professor Griff. So he was in Public Enemy with Flavor Flav. Now, I don't know if you know who Flavor Flav is, but he did a fucking, he did a series called Flavor of Love, which was kind of like a takeoff of Rock of Love, which was shit unto itself. But Flavor of Love is fucking funny. It's so fucking funny. You've got to watch it. There's this bitch, right? There's this fat bitch that squats down and does a shit in the middle of his lounge room while they're filming some fucking talk or elimination or some shit. It's so fucking funny. You've got to see it. Actually, fuck it. I'm going to show it to you now. At the risk of getting copyright struck, I'm going to fucking show it to you. Fuck this. I'm proud around your man. Glasses up in the air. Yes. After we do the toast, I was like, what is that f***ed up smell in my crib, yo? Right now? I'm gonna leave y'all for a little bit. Then I seen this girl in the back. She kind of went out of frame for a minute, but then she came back. But thanks for coming down, y'all. I'm really. When she came back, she had this look on her face like. That's my hey, baby. welcome. Blessings. Cheers, baby. See y'all later. And blessings, all right? Cheers. Have a good time, y'all. Thank you. After we do the toast, something takes off upstairs. Oh my God, that's a nasty. Mm. Elimination is over. I just want a sigh of relief. So I take this deep breath and what is that smell? Yeah, I'm going to let you look up the rest yourself. It is quality fucking viewing though, trust me. Anyway, we've gotten sidetracked. Back to Nick Cannon. 
Then let's go. Let's let's go to what it really is. Then when we talk about the power of melanated people, the power of melanated people isn't melanin just shit that's in your skin. Why would that make you powerful? I mean, do freckled people have more power? What about people with birthmarks? Do people who have suffered horrific burns and had skin grafts have less power? I mean, I could understand if he said the power of muscular people. Muscly motherfuckers tend to be literally more powerful. But it just sounds weird when you equate power to most other physical attributes, like the power of dudes whose left nut hangs lower than their right nut. It sounds just as fucking stupid as the power of melanated people. Anyway, when we talk mm -hmm. about who we really are as guys and, and understanding right. that our melanin is so power and it connects us in a way that the reason why they fear black, the reason why they fear is because they the lack that they have of it. So then when you see what, you know, Dr. Uh, Francis C. Wellesley talked about is that fear in that 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 uh, just genetic that annihilation efficiency mm -hmm. of when you come on man this professor griff guy can't be serious this motherfucker be fucking crazy wait did that motherfucker flavor flavor ever pay me that ten dollars back i told him that fat bitch would shit on his flower motherfucker never listen to the griff never listen to me motherfucker Fuck Flavor Flav. What's this motherfucker saying now? Our melanin is so power and it- Melanin? I ain't know nothing about no motherfucking melanin. Fuck this shit, this is too early for this shit. Did this motherfucker used to fuck Mariah Carey? How you be fucking Mariah Carey and not fucking Mariah Carey anymore, motherfucker? That's the question. Man, I tapped that Mariah Carey ass so motherfucking hard, bitch be hitting all them higher notes like, <laughs> motherfuckers talking about melanin? Fuck melanin, motherfucker. Uh, mm -hmm. When you have a person that has ha has the lack of pigment, the right. lack of melanin, right. that they know that they will be annihilated. So therefore, however they got the power, they 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 have the lack of compassion. Mm -hmm. That mel melanin comes with compassion. Oh, melanin comes with compassion. Oh, okay. Then let's just take Nick Cannon and this chick right here and compare their compassion. Enhance, 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 enhance. Welp. Looks like Nick Cannon's got fuck all compassion after all. I mean, compared to this African chick anyway. Melanin comes with soul that mm -hmm. we call it. We call it soul. We soul brothers and sisters. That's the melanin that connects us. Right. So the people that don't have it. Hang on, isn't soul brothers and sisters referring to soul music? I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think it's referring to melanin. That's stupid. That's the melanin that connects us. Right. So the people that don't have it have are are a little, and I'm, I'm gonna say this carefully, <laughs> are a little less uh, and and how funny is his cameraman zoom effect he's like yeah that's fucked up man we gotta get some zoom action in on this and where the term actually comes from because i'm bringing it all the way back around okay. to, to minister farrakhan to where they may not have the compassion or the the when they were sent to the mountains of caucasus when they when they didn't have the power of the sun that was that the sun then started to deteriorate mm -hmm. them so then they're acting out of fear they're acting out of low self-esteem they're acting out of a, a deficiency mm -hmm. so therefore the only way that they can act is evil that doesn't make sense that clearly doesn't make sense in fact that's one of the dumbest things i've heard all week people with less melanin act on their fear their low self-esteem and ultimately end up being evil because the sun deprived them of that sweet melanin okay the only way they can, they, they have to rob, steal, rape, kill, and fight or flight okay. in, or, in order to survive. I don't think these guys looked at the FBI crime statistics. Just a hunch. Exactly. So then these people who didn't have what we had, and when I say we, I speak of the mm -hmm. melanated people. Right. They had to be savages. They had to be barbaric. They had, because they're in these Nordic mountains, they're in these rough uh torrential environment mm. so they they're acting as animals right so they're the ones that are actually closer to animals they're the ones that are actually the true savages savages and animals and less than oh my see like i said at the start of the video i don't give a fuck if you want to be racist you do whatever you want as long as you're not hurting anyone but it is interesting looking at the double standard play out especially online this nick cannon guy didn't get his channel deleted he didn't even get his video taken down he took it down himself after getting a bit of backlash now reverse the roles and get some white guy sitting there talking about black people as savages and animals and less than he'd be fucking nuked in seconds 
Legends. AI News Channel got nuked a couple of weeks ago, and he never called anyone savages or animals. By the way, he's over at censored.tv now if you're looking for him. Anyway, that's about me done. That was fun. Catch you later. Session, session. Give me better times, give me better times. Session, session.